Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another vlog. Brandon and I here. I'm starting this in the bathroom because I say this every vlog. It feels like every time I'm like staying somewhere, that's not my place. The best lighting is always in the bathroom. So we're staying in like this Airbnb. There's actually no windows here, so because this is like an underground apartment. So uh, yeah, we're in the bathroom for the best lighting. But now that we started with good, good quality lighting, maybe I can come over here. It's not too bad over here. But uh, I'm gonna say hi to everyone, Shelly. Hi, she's wearing I'm her sick. she's wearing her beautiful WrestleMania jersey. I'm really sick. Yeah, we're gonna have to get you some cold medicine. So I'm gonna sound really weird for like the it's whole week. So I sound weird the whole week. Well, hopefully we'll get some medicine that'll help you today. Um so basically I'm I'm starting this pretty late. What time is it? Do you have the time, Shelly? It's 103. It is 103 in the afternoon already. What have I been doing? Well, I've been sleeping and I've been um editing uh, yesterday's vlog, so hopefully that goes up today. I've had so many issues getting it up, but we're about to leave right now. Can we show Ryder's patch off? Oh yeah, we can show Ryder's patch off if you want to show Ryder's patch off in the beginning of the vlog here. So he's got fresh, he's got fresh gear. He's got a fresh patch there. I was there, we got that at the Super Superstore last night for Ryder's beautiful service dog vest. You're looking all professional over there, sir. He hates the camera, so he yeah. looks like he wants to kill himself, but he's really, he's really cheery, I promise. Call him, babe. Okay, I'll Ryder, happen. Ryder. Look happy, look happy for the people. There you go. Oh yeah. He's but, really camera shy. But yeah, they, they sell the patches over at the Superstore, and uh, we got one to put on Ryder's vest. $13 for patch. I don't know why they're charging so much for the little tiny patches over there, but they are. And the pens are like the same price. Yeah, the pens are, really some of the pens are like 30 bucks for no reason. Um, right? Like the one Rousey was like 30 But hold on, they're like gold plated or something for that price. Because they have like that $20 pen. But anyway, we're just rambling at this point. Uh, we're about to go get on the subway. Uh, so we're staying in Queens and it's a big mess. Can we just like rant on the transport here for a minute? So let me just rant on the transport. So let's just rant on New York City in general. New York City sucks. Well, at least where we're staying, like Manhattan's very easy to get wherever the hell you want to go very fast. But when you're like out here, not in Manhattan, like whenever things, when outsiders think of New York City, they think of Manhattan. That's not how New York City is. That's how Manhattan is. Like New York City has a bunch of different boroughs and we're in Queens right now. And we have to go to like Brooklyn and we have to go to Manhattan and everything. And you don't want to drive in Manhattan because that's impossible. And pe people have told me, yo, bro, why are you trying to drive in New York City? And people don't drive in New York City. I'm like, yeah, they do. People don't drive in Manhattan, which is what you think of if you've never been to New York City or you haven't been in the other bor boroughs of New York City. But basically, what I'm trying to say here, where access is from Queens, like we're only like a few miles away, but it takes an hour to drive there with the traffic. And there's no parking, so you're screwed there. So you basically can't drive over there, even if you do deal with like almost dying 36 times because no one knows how to drive in this city. Mm -hmm. um, but um, and then it, Uber, Uber is a thing, uh, ride sharing. But for some reason, Uber is ninety dollars. Don't know why. Subway, uh, the subway actually takes over two hours to get over there, so you gotta wait a while. But it is very cheap. So it looks like the best option is the subway. Uh, there's also the, the the ferry, but the ferry takes just as long, basically. Um, you gotta hop on. And it costs more money. And uh, what, what, I think that's about all the options. I mean, there's the train, which is like 20 bucks, but it looks like the best. Taxi. <laughs> it look a taxi's even more than Uber. Uh, it looks like the best option is just being patient, taking the subway. So that's basically what we're going to be doing today. So. I just want to tell you guys what we're doing. Like, we brought the car. We were hoping we could drive to some of these places because Access always has free parking every year. And yes, I know they decided to put it in Brooklyn for some reason when it should have been put in Jersey. Like, it should have been put in Jersey. Who I don't know whose idea it was to put Access an hour away from where the Mania Stadium is. Literally makes zero sense, and it's a hassle for literally everyone. But that's my little rant on Mania. Like but anyway, today's gonna be a fun day. Anyway, we have to deal with the hassle of the traffic and getting places. Can but we talk about the cruise terminal real quick? We can talk about the cruise terminal when we're at the cruise terminal. You wanna do that? Okay. Fine. We'll talk about the cruise terminal. Well, I mean, we can talk about it a little bit. Like the cruise terminal. I feel like I'm in Alcatraz. It's, it's very like run down. Like it looks like a prison. Like she was she was saying when last night. When you're there at night, it's real sketchy. Like, yeah. We were there last night and uh, feel like I'm in prison. It, I mean, we so since Thursday's least busy day, we were able to park over there, but it's twenty five dollars for parking when usually access parking is free. What? I get they're trying to price people out, but still, they're not going to have parking that long, and driving is just not an option in the city unless you want to basically die by the time you get there because the all thing, the anxiety the only from thing driving. The about the cruise terminal is that it overlooks the Statue of Liberty, which is really nice. The Statue of Liberty, it's cool over there. Um, but like the inside nice, the outside can is like what the hell is this place? And like even during the day it looks very run down. It's like 
They chose here over like a nice new convention center in New Jersey. Are they just like, so are, they, are, 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 they, are they just doing things for money and not worrying about how these things affect the fans or what? Um, but anyway, we gotta shut up. So uh, we're gonna go over to um, the subway station and we're going over to Manhattan. And today we're actually, it's gonna be a really good day even though we have to deal with this BS transport. Today, we're meeting John Cena. <laughs> and this lucky one over here is meeting Ronda Rousey. Uh. But I get to meet Shane, so that's cool. Ryder gets to meet Ronda Rousey too. Yeah, Ryder gets to meet Ronda Rousey because he gets to stay with you, but I don't. Uh. <laughs> uh, but uh, we're both meeting Cena, she's meeting Rousey, I'm meeting Shane, so today should be a fun day and a fun vlog. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get going. Uh, this, I've already rambled enough for this. So we go out this door, and we're gonna go to the subway and sit on it for two hours and get over to Manhattan. <laughs> right, right. You wanna go work? You wanna go work? You wanna go? You wanna go? Oh, he's ready. You gotta get the shakes out. You go. You want me, Cena? You want me, Ronda Rousey? You wanna go meet John Cena? He's like, come on, mom, let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. Come on. I'm gonna toss him over. We made it onto the subway. It's very cold here, but we're gonna go meet John Cena. We're here, Raider. Sorry, the subway scared you a little bit. Welcome to Manhattan. Oh god, it's raining. Welcome to the real New York City everyone thinks of when they think of New York City. Alright guys, we made it over here. I don't want this camera to get ruined, so I don't know how much I'm going to be vlogging outside, but she's never seen the 9-11 memorial they did, so I'm going to take her over there to check that out. Are you excited to see the 9-11 memorial? Yeah. Sorry, we're very cold. She's sick, and I hope you don't get sicker, but we'll go in the I'm heat after. I'm going to get sicker. We'll go back in the, the heat, probably in the Fulton Center. They have a Chick-fil-A back there. I want to eat there because I miss the South, but uh, I think we're going to go check out the 9-11 memorial so that she can check that out. This place is very nice over here now. Like I remember when I first came to New York City, this this wasn't even here, like they didn't have that up yet. And this area wasn't like this nice. It was a very terrible scene where the towers were and this area was like very depressing and sad to come to and now it's just a very nice area to kind of visit and then 9-11 memorials over here that she's gonna check out. He's gonna check out. Don't jump in it, please. So it's gonna go over here. I was talking to him. Oh. Don't, don't drink from it either. Here's for Michelle's reaction seeing the memorial for the first time. Come on, Shelly. Has all the names of the people who, who died on that day. Look down there. That's oh, wow. That's the foundation. Those are the ducks. <laughs> yeah, there's ducks down there, but what do you think? Crazy, right? I don't want the ducks to fall in. So then they built the new one right next to it as a kind of a F you to all the, the terrorists in the world. This is the coolest looking mall I've ever seen on the inside. Them all, um, and uh, we're just coming in to warm up. Um, what time is it anyway? We gotta be over to the Cena sign. He starts signing at four, but we're guaranteed to meet him because we already bought our tickets. It's 3 09 now, so we should probably get going here soon. I just need to get in the tent. So we're gonna like, warm up for a little bit. Freezing. I know she's sick, so we gotta take care of her. So, yeah, this is a really cool looking mall though. Um, the museum, you have to wait out in the cold, and it's like 30 bucks to go in. I've already been in there. She wasn't too interested in it, so we're just gonna walk around the mall for a few minutes. to meet John Cena right now. We're actually up front because she has the dog and we're in the disability line for her. Um, hopefully Cena likes the smell of wet dog. He's so soaked. I feel so bad. Yeah, I feel bad for him, but at least we got moved to the front because uh, we have him. We don't need him to get sick. So we got moved to the front of the line. Can't hopefully. wait to have him on you. Yeah. Uh, All right, guys. Uh, we're still in the bookstore, but they didn't allow like a camera out over there. Yeah, they were but, like, put your phone away. Oh my god, I just met John Cena. Yeah, he was like really cool. He pet right. A guy's right is the luckiest dog in the world. What happened? Uh, John Cena pet him on the head. Yeah. 
John, like Ryder doesn't know how lucky he is. <laughs> Ryder um, literally has no idea how lucky so he is. So basically, cut him on the head twice. I went up to like Cena to just say like, "Hi, not John. Nice to meet you." And then shook his hand and all, and then he's like, read my shirt. And he's like, "I love your shirt." And I'm like, "King of Vlog Style, Brandon Hyde. You like this shirt?" <gasps> John Cena said he liked my shirt. John Cena said he liked my shirt. He's Mark. Now. Yeah. Yeah, this is my my 12 year old because I never got to meet Cena when I was like a, a Cena fan Cena. when I was like the biggest fan of Cena in the world and when he was my hero I never got a chance to meet him until now. You should tell why my bucket no, list. We cut, the, we cut the we were able to cut the line and he liked my my YouTube shirt and he so, met Ryder. Hey, so Ryder's hey, really lucky. Brandon Hodge merch. Go to the website. Get yeah, the shirt. Buy our merch, John Cena bro. likes it's it. John Cena approved. John Cena approved. <laughs> Alright guys, we're in Penn Station now, we're actually going to take a train back to our place and then we're going to head over to Access. So we better get some stuff out of the car, that's why we're going back there. Alright, we're here in Access, we're two hours after, hopefully Rousey's still signing. I don't know how long she's signing for. She started at six. Hopefully, she's still signing because I paid four hundred dollars for that ticket. Um, thanks New York City. But thanks for New York City for your fr freaking traffic for making me probably lose four hundred dollars. But hopefully, not. I don't know. We'll have to see. What in the hell is this layout? Like access this year is a total freaking mess. Okay, so after that clip is when everything started to turn to absolute. So, um, that's all the footage I have, actually, because as soon as I went to Access, everything started turning sour, and, uh, yeah, so the rest of this vlog is basically just gonna be me explaining really quick, and then we'll end the vlog, uh, because the day didn't go as it was supposed to go, so the day was supposed to go, we go over to Manhattan, we meet John and Cena, we get on the train, we go over to Access, and I have a meet and greet for Shane McMahon, and, uh, Shelly has a meet and greet for Ronda Rousey. Um, so, Cena signing was at 4 o'clock, right? We, we were there exactly at, well, we were not there exactly at 4. We were there were obviously before, a little bit early, and uh, we actually got the disability line. So, we were one of the, actually the first people to meet John Cena. Now, John Cena, meeting John Cena was absolutely wonderful, a dream, dream come true. I couldn't have asked for anything, like, greater, and especially where he complimented my shirt. I was like, oh my god, wow, that's cool. You can be like my YouTube show, I'll have to get you one, Cena. Um, but, anyway, uh... So we met Cena, I want to say we were done meeting Cena around 4.30. Uh, we looked at the bookstore maybe 10 minutes, maybe it was about 4.40, and then we started heading back towards Brooklyn. Um, we took the train, right? Uh, and somehow, I don't know, with all the stops or whatever, it took us literally, I, I guess it literally took us almost four hours to get over there. By the time we got over there, it was 8 o'clock, and uh, we went on and we're like, um, okay, I have a Ronda Rousey meeting, I don't know if she's still, hopefully she's still signing. Uh, I have a Shane, uh, Shane one, she has a Rousey one. So they give us wristbands for both, and I'm like, oh, they give us wristbands, and uh, according to the policy, if you get wristbands, you're guaranteed to meet them. I'm like, okay, I guess Ronda's still here since you got your wristband. So then we go back uh, to find the, um, the VIP people, and Shane's just there. And then I ask the lady in front of Shane, I'm like, uh, where's Rousey? Because I know she's still here because she, she got a wristband, she's guaranteed to meet her, right? Like, uh, Rousey left, and I'm like, okay, she left, but she has a wristband, so she's guaranteed, is she coming back? Like, and it's like, no, she's left, she's done. I'm like, what? And then I like go around to like like obviously Michelle's upset. She's crushed like Ronda Rousey's like, like her favorite, like her favorite like whatever kind of like terminology you want to use. Like she was crushed. So I'm going around like asking like employees there like oh, yo like what what the hell like I get if she had a contract and she's done, but like this VIP was four hundred dollars. Like this is New York City. You're not getting a VIP for face value. The face value was like two hundred and fifty. Cheapest one I could find was 400 and other ones were like $700 to meet Ronda Rousey. I, got, I paid $400 for that ticket. And I go there and I'm like, well, okay, it was $400 for this ticket to meet Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey's not here. She stopped signing. So, like, um, I understand if we can't get Rousey back, but can we switch this at least for Shane so she can meet Shane? And they're like, nope. And I'm like, okay, can I talk to someone like higher up here at Access? And I'm like, there's no one higher up. I'm the highest up person. I'm like, can you give me like a numbers? I'm like, nope. I'm like, what? Um, so I have the VIP to meet Shane and I'm like, I don't know what to do. I, I just last resort, I'm just gonna mention it to Shane to see what he says. Like, like, uh, I don't know if, like, in real life Shane has any, like, I don't even know if he does. If he has, like, any 
control over anything or if he's really just back as like a TV person and kind of a wrestler and he doesn't really do much like business stuff, which I believe is the case, but anyway. But I was just gonna um, mention to Shane to see what he said, so I went up there, told Shane what happened, and he's like, oh, what the hell, I'll meet, I'll meet Michelle, and like, um, what, what's your name, and I'm like, her name's Michelle, and he signed her an autograph, signed her an autograph for free, and he's like, go get her, I'll bring her up on stage, and then, uh, I got Michelle up there, and uh, Shane uh, shook her hand and was like, hey, I'm sorry, you got stuck in traffic, and you weren't able to meet Rousey, but um, you can meet me. And uh, yeah, so uh, Shane signed this for her. We got their photo together. Uh, the photographer, shut up the photographer, because he actually changed his camera angle so he could get Michelle's service dog and shot Ryder, um, and that's really cool. It came out with like, a really good photo. And then I got my jersey signed by Shane. Um, but, like... That was good, and Shane, like, did his best to make the experience better. Like, there's not a whole lot he can do. Like, she can meet me, but there's really nothing else I can do. Like, I can't bring Rousey back or whatever. Um, but anyway, uh, I went to Access, right? I mean, I'm trying to get a refund for that $400 ticket for Rousey because, you know, Shane was only 200 to meet, and uh, he basically met her for free or whatever. But uh, I'm trying to get a refund. I don't know if I can. I talked to the person on the phone about it, and they thought that was freaking ridiculous that I paid $400 and then I wasn't able to meet her and like no one was like informing that hey guys she's in here for two hours if you're not here before 8 o'clock you're not meeting her like never told anything like that and this is like a, a big legal thing like if you don't tell someone that then like you're setting yourself up for like a lawsuit or something like like I'm, I'm not gonna sue them but you know someone someone technically could and they could probably win because there's no like fine print or anything like that okay so while I was editing this I actually looked at the ticket just to look see if there was any like fine print or anything and then I noticed, like, right under it where it says VIP Ronda Rousey meet and greet, it says the time. It says, it doesn't just say 6 p.m. It says 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. She stopped signing at 8 p.m. So there's definitely, like, a lawsuit, like, potential there if someone actually wanted to do something. I mean, I'm just saying, like, there's no fine for this if she stops signing at 8 p.m. Actually, on the ticket, it says 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. So, like, did she actually leave early? Was she supposed to be signing for four whole hours? Or was it always just two hours and then, like the, the like the ticket is just like they need to do that better. Like that is so ridiculous. But anyway, I went to Access uh, last night and I was I was like, okay, you're gonna meet um, you're gonna meet Rousey. I'm gonna meet Shane and then we're gonna take our items and go get them signed by like a bunch of other people. But the Shane line, I was in the Shane line for two hours, I think. And like by the time I met Shane, Access was over. So this jersey I was planning to get like everyone had access to sign, I only got one person. So basically I paid like, I paid total with fees and all for Shane and Rousey, it was like $700, $800. So I paid like $800 just for that one session, which I'm not gonna settle for that. I'm gonna get my money back in some way or I'm gonna get compensated in some way. Like I'm not just gonna settle. Uh, we've hit $800 to meet one person and deal with some, some, some bullshit in, in access. But uh, I'm going to access tomorrow morning, which is Sunday. Um, I'm not going today, which is Saturday. I'm taking a day off after that drama last night. Um, but uh, Michelle has a has a meet and greet for Dean Ambrose, uh, and while she's meeting Dean Ambrose, while she's in the line to meet Dean Ambrose and all that, I'm gonna go around the general mission people and see how many people I can get to sign this in one day because tomorrow's my last day here, and I spent 80 bucks on this jersey to get it like covered and autographed, and like I was only able to get one last night. And that's ridiculous and apparently that's pretty common here for New York City like it's such a mess I don't want to hate on New York City or anything it's just like a mess up here like this year like I've seen a lot of the other people and it's not just me like complaining like I'm still having fun up here like don't get me wrong but just some um I'm pretty much like a scam last night is the thing like I get scammed for the Rousey thing and like um and then just like New York City traffic and all that it's just like terrible and it was it would have took even longer to drive than it would have on like the subway and stuff like that but wish me luck tomorrow guys like I'm not complaining like access is is a mess this year there's no like arguing that the location is very weird it's crazy uh, most of access isn't even an actual building it's like actually outside and part of access is a freaking tent but uh, anyway I guess that's it for this vlog uh, I know it may have been a little bit on the long side, so I'll let you guys go. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. Bring it to the channel. Um, make sure to subscribe for all my amazing content. Hopefully it's amazing. I try my best on the vlogs. Uh, next week I'm going to Florida. I'm doing vlogs down there. I'm doing W News down there. I'm doing all kinds of, of, of videos and stuff. WrestleMania 35, at least for me, was kind of a bust, but um, I still had fun up here. Uh, hopefully tomorrow will help like make the trip a little bit more worth it for me, but I really want this thing covered because I didn't pay all this money for this not to get it covered in autographs. Like, my idea was to get it all covered in autographs and I want that done. But anyway, guys, I'm rambling at this point. I'll let you get, I gotta let you guys go. So thanks for watching this vlog. I'll see you guys tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next
video.